and welcome back to another episode of PC419. Not so long ago, we actually did the review on the Aorus 15G. Now, Aorus have actually sent me, or Geekbuds actually sent me the Aorus 15P version of this. Now, probably supposed to be a lot slightly thinner, a um, bit less of spec, a bit more better price range as well. But let's have a look at it and see what's in the box and see what actually comes when you purchase the Aorus 15P. Now, what I've seen so far from the, um, obviously, from its specs range, it's obviously got a 144 hertz screen. It's come with a power brick. It's a fairly large power brick, to be honest. It comes with it. There's nothing else in there. It's a pretty simple design. Take off its box here. It does come with its own user guide, as well as an SAP. It does come with an extra thermal pad for your M.2. So if you install another M.2 on this, you'll be able to install a thermal pad on here, which is actually pretty cool. And here is the laptop itself. The design factor looks very similar, very on par with the Aorus 15G, to be honest. It's not actually, it's, it looks exactly like it, to be honest. It doesn't look that much far off it. Um, design factor as well, as you can see here. So it's got a full-size keyboard, nice mouse pad here as well. Um, it's got the 10th Gen i7 in here. It has got an RTX 2070 Super as well. It does have the, they haven't changed much of the camera design. So where the camera actually sits here, it does sit in the bottom. I don't like it and I do like it, that makes sense. So the reason why I do like it is because obviously it does have that manual flap here as well to actually lock out the camera. What I don't like about the camera here as well, it's Bruce position is because if you lay it down, obviously if you lay it down here on your desk, for example, um, you will have to be looking down, which you are looking down regardless of that, but sometimes you might get that upper nose feel there. So it all depends on, um, that's all personal preference, but that's just my opinion about this. But I think what we'll do is we'll um, we'll start her up, we'll get her going, we'll see what um, this laptop is actually capable of doing. Is there much difference between here? Now, as I was mentioned before, it has got a 144 hertz screen. Um, it's supposed to have a really good color vibrant screen as well, so we'll have a look at that. It is 72% of the NTSC as well. Um, but... Is there much difference between the 15G and the 15P? Let's find out. So let's look at some of the features and its specs on the Aorus 15P. So it does have a full-size keyboard with a three millimeter ultra thin bezel design. It's got a per key RGB light as well put on each key um, and it has a precision touchpad as well. This system also has a six core Intel 10th gen i7-10-7750H CPU um, as well it also has the NVIDIA RTX 2070 which is the Max-Q version graphics card in this one. Um, wind force, so this does carry the same wind force as the 15G with five heatsink pipes, two huge fans, and four exhaust ports. This laptop only weighs two kilograms, which also is 2.3 centimeters thick. It also has a whopping 94 watt battery power supply as well, a battery, a battery in built into the actual laptop. Now the screen is 144 hertz ultra smooth display with a five, millis uh, five milliseconds response rate and also has a 72% NTSC um, for better color gamut compared to the 120 hertz, which only has 45% NTSC. This also has the Nehemic 3 3D surround sound as well, um, as well as a few um, connectivity ports, which we'll, which we'll definitely talk about. So on the left-hand side of the laptop, it's got a full-size HDMI display, USB 3, and a mic headphone jack combo with an Ethernet port. On the right hand side, it's got two USB 3s, USB C, as well as a full micro card reader, and then it's got its power jack with a port here as well. So let's take a look at the Aorus Control Center. So, if you, as, as you can see in front of your screen, we've got the smart dashboard on here. So, it shows your CPU, GPU, and memory loading, as well as the disk usage space. Shows you your disk information as well. As well, you can you can do your adjustments on your power and uh, power information and power setup as well. You got your GPU maximum and turbo, and then you've got your RAMs. It says here, and it also shows you what speed the RAM is currently set at. 
also battery information as well as your power plan as well as your fan curve settings here. So fan one and fan two, one for be for your CPU and one for be for your GPU. You can also see your app shortcuts if you want to add an app shortcut to the control center, this can be done as well. And as well as your Windows Manager here. So from your pretty much from your NVIDIA control panel to your OSD, OSD switch, volume, brightness, charging, monitor, and so forth, you can see in front of you. And also as well, you can change the screen, this screen color calibration here at the same time and your blue light killer. Also has your RGB fusion. So if we go to fusion here, you can actually change what sort the keyboard can is, what actually wants to do. If you want to go to the Okay, key here, or you want to go to, to the example wave, you can do it a wave here at the same time. So this allows you to change your RGB, your brightness and your speed you want to do it and direction you want to go, even random. Do your accessories and then you can set, you set up your macro keys. So if you want to set a macro key on, this, on the actual keyboard itself, this can be done as well. You got your device settings for your fan control. So for fan control, you've got from gaming to normal to quiet. Uh, as well as if you've got your hard switch here, so you press the FN key and the escape key, fan will go to maximum. And this is the maximum sound you'll get out of this, um, out of the Aorus 15P at full load. Pressing that again, overwrites the, um, control the control center and brings back your fan curve. So obviously this allows you to ch set temperatures up and also your fan speed uh, percentages here on the right hand side. So at whatever degree you want to set it at, you can set it to 89 degrees, so at 85%, which is that for gaming. And then if you change it to normal, it will change it here as well. Then you've got smart utilities. So this gives you, which is pretty, I actually find this pretty handy. So if, for your chipset drivers and software, you can restore to default or update to the latest. So there's a few updates on here that need to be done, uh, which obviously does give you a fair bit of control on your updates. And as well, just pretty much one setting, one setup, um, software to do all your updates at the same time. You got system backup, you got your manual here, you got your fact sheet, registration, and you got the latest news all from Aorus. And that is the, the Aorus Control Center. And this is a test with the microphone of the actual laptop itself, as well as the camera. You can see the camera's sitting a bit low for me, so it's a good way when you're sort of gaming, because obviously you can game and have a look at the same time, but I do prefer the camera being on top of the monitor. But um, yeah, unfortunately, this one here is right next to the keyboard or next, actually next to the power button, but this is a test here. So what are you guys' thoughts on those benchmarks? The 2070 Super, oh, sorry, 2070 Max Q, I should say, did do a very good job um, on the Aorus 15P, obviously with the 10th generation Intel CPU as well, um, pretty well matched up on here. Those benchmarks were pretty well set out and what I thought it would be to the specs of the laptop itself compared to the 15G as well, which had a full 2070 into it. So the, the, I'm pretty happy with the benchmarks and the way Aorus have actually done this laptop. Particularly even with their screen as well. So the screen, the color vibrance coming out of this screen here is absolutely fantastic. Even though it's only 1080p at 144 hertz, they've, um, the color vibrance coming out of it is really nice. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that properly on this camera, but we'll get some um, good shots on that. But guys, what do you thought of the Aorus 15P for a laptop? So roughly, look at the screen here. 
So there is two different models. They've got the RTX 2060 version, then they've got the RTX 2070 uh, Max-Q as well. So they're roughly, at, at the moment now, um, the day we filmed this, it's at 2,300 for the 2060 version and then 2,500 uh, for the Max 2070 Max-Q version. They have been dropped down in price, but for two, even for a $2,300 laptop for a 2060 is more than well enough for actually for um, any gaming so forth. For the 2070 Max-Q, which I probably would prefer the model, so I'll prefer this model um, over the uh, 2060, a bit more grunt, a bit more horsepower as well, um, a bit more GPU power, that's, that's probably where I would prefer to be. But if you wanted to save that $300, um, the 2060 will also suit you fine as well. But guys, I want to thank Aorus once again for sending out the Aorus 15P to the uh, to the studio, and hopefully we'll uh, hopefully see some other Aorus laptops that they've been releasing, the new Aorus 17, as well. I would like to see some of the Aero series as well, um, just more their business grade laptops. I would love to see them here at the studio, so we might get a few of them um, sent over. But guys, I want to say once again, thank you so much, and guess what? I'll see you next time.